Yo, what's good with y'all? Welcome back to another video. Damn, I don't know why that intro sounds so weird. Anyway, welcome back to another video. Um, in today's video, I got the how to make a race rolling system. But you can also use this to really make any type of rolling system. You know, it doesn't just have to be race. It, you know, it could be um. And when I say race, I'm not referring to skin color. I'm referring well, I mean, if your game has that, but I'm referring that you guys know human, demon, angel, ghoul, like stuff like that. You know, like races, like stuff from like TV shows, anime, stuff like that, right? So you can use this like set for that, you know, unlocking like clans, abilities, stuff like, you know, just stuff, stuff like that type thing. But yeah, let's go ahead and get straight into the video. Okay, so I'm just very simple. So first things first, we're going to, of course, insert a remote event into replicated storage. So boom, then we're going to name this remote event, roll event. And then we're going to go ahead and head on over to start gy insert a screen drive we need to make a quick little uh roll gy now just to clarify something i'm not making like a a wheel like a spinner like a spinner wheel like i'm just gonna have like a text label that just like you just watch it change until it like lands on the race you know that's yours that's that's all i'm saying and stuff just so people i fully understand now if you guys want me to go more in depth with these tutorials show this video a lot of love and i got y'all with a part two or a part two which is more in depth or an updated version whatever you want to call it so let's name the screen gy roll gy right we're going to insert a text label as well as a text button right so to be honest it doesn't really matter where you put these like if i'm being honest it doesn't yeah it doesn't really matter because the whole point is I'm not trying to really make a UI thrill. I'm just trying to demonstrate it to you guys, like how it works. So we could go ahead and name the text button, roll text button, right? And then you could, uh, I don't know, make it like green or something. Well, it doesn't really matter. It's up to you guys, but I guess I'll make it green. Um, click to roll a race, roll a race, right? Um, we can scale the text, rich text, right? So click to roll a race then of course uh change the name of this to roll text label um bold scale the text uh, you can clear the text out and no need for default text and then you know customize whatever we want and okay boom right so once we've done that we can insert a local script into roll gui so local script you could also disable on um, reset on spot as well if you want so I'm gonna make three variables. First, I'm gonna get the role remote event. So local role event is equal to game the replicated storage wait for child role event. Then I'm gonna get the role GUI. So local role GUI is equal to game. Oh, sorry, not the game replicated storage script dot parent because you know we parented the local script, put the local script into the role GUI. It became a, ch a child of of the uh, role GUI. And lastly, we're gonna create a number value. So we're gonna say local count or counter is equal to zero right you guys know how when you're rolling a race it like you see multiple like you you go through multiple races until it lands on that specific one that's yours that you know is yours so yeah so we got to go through the count right so first thing i'm gonna set up the first function so roll so i'm gonna say roll gui dot roll text button that mouse button one click connect function close parentheses enter i'm gonna say while count is less than sorry less than 20 Enter, you're gonna say roll event by your server, and go take marks, put roll, right? Then you're gonna say count is plus equal one, right? Because it's gonna add one to the count value, um, I mean count variable, um or number value, whatever whatever you want to call it. It's gonna add plus one each time, so it's gonna keep going until it reaches 20, right? It's gonna go through 20, 20, uh 20 different races. Now, if you wanted to go through more, increase the number. If you want to go through less, decrease the number completely up to you guys right then here is the wait time so we're going to say task style wait 0 0.3 seconds so people can see that the race is like you know it's it's rolling it's spinning like it's changing you know what i'm saying like they're like okay that's not my race like that's just one of the races in the in the cycle i guess you could say right so you're going to wait 0 0.3 seconds up to you guys however long you want the wait time to be right but of course you need a wait time so people can actually see the change happening plus you don't want to have any while loop that um running without any weigh in without a weight inside of it then we're going to set up the second function i'm going to say role event that on client events connect function event type comma argo one short for argument number one then press enter going to say if event type is equal to role enter then i'm going to create a variable so i'm going to say local race is equal to argument number one this is going to be the race that was sent over from the server because we're going to handle rolling on the server side since 
I guess generally you just wouldn't want to do anything really important on the client side because you don't want exploiters or anything. Anything anything important you don't want to do on the client side because it's exploitable. Unless like you're verifying information on the server side to ensure that it can't be tampered with or at least no change could happen if an exploiter was to exploit something, right? So then I'm gonna say role GUI dot role text label dot text is equal to you could say like I don't know, race colon space dot 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 race you can do something like that if you want up to you guys right and just like that we're done here i actually do, did forget to name the script if you guys didn't notice so let's go ahead and name this role script and in parentheses put local then we're gonna, gonna we're gonna want to go head on over to server script service insert a server script you're gonna want to name the script role script and in parentheses put server you're gonna want to delete print hello world we're gonna make two variables first we're gonna get the role remote event local role event is equal to sorry is equal to game the replicated storage wait for child world event then i'm going to create a variable for the race chances local race chances or you know chances of getting said race whatever you however you're going to call it so you're going to, need to make a table so special brackets then press enter here's how you do it you're going to put the name of your race and you're going to say equal to the, like the number like the percentage right so let's so i'm going to say human is equal to 70 which means like which actually hold on let, let me let, let's type all them then i'll explain okay so human equals 70 you can use regular commas or semicolons up to you guys what, what you want to, uh how you want to separate it but you do need to separate it though so they're going to say demon is equal to 15 you guys can change the percentage or in the race name whatever like you can change it to whatever name you want right i'm gonna say fishman it's kind of like a mix of like demons there in one piece but yeah fishman is equal to 10 colon then angel is equal to five colon right so this means so i'm gonna what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do a math dot random right and i'm gonna do a random number from one to uh from one to 70. if the number is between one one and five then that means the player then that means the player will become an angel if the numbers if the number is between um if the numbers i'm trying to think oh if the number is between uh oh six if the number is between six to four yeah if the numbers wait i'm trying to think i think it's like I'm trying to think. wait hold on wait, 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 i'm tripping okay yeah, yeah. so if the if the number is between six to ten then they're going to become a fisherman so both of these pretty much means it's like a it's a five percent chance of getting them right now with demon if it's um less than if it's between 10 to 15 you, you become a demon and if it's greater than 15 literally it's, if it's greater than 15 so 16 to 70 you'll become a human right now obviously in a game you'd have like multiple races and stuff you'd have probably have like 10 so your percentages would look different it'd probably be like the highest for a race would probably be like maybe 20 30 percent at most not like a like you know overwhelming 70 but obviously make sure like you're told you're doing the math correctly i'd recommend just doing it where all the races like together they add up to equal 100 you guys see how like at 15 5 that's 20 that's 30 then that's 100 right i would recommend doing it like that unless you're trying to you know you got the math down pat that's up to you then i'm gonna set up the the function i'm gonna say role event on server event connect function in parentheses put plr short for the player and then event type enter then i'm gonna say if event type is equal to quotation marks role oh sorry i'm gonna say enter and then i'm gonna create a variable local random number here's how we're gonna generate our random number we're gonna say math.random oh sorry math.random one comma 70. now to explain this your number you're starting regardless of like your percentages and all that um everyone's starting number should be one that, that should be everyone's starting number right um you want to make this your highest number right like if you like if a, if there's like a 80 percent chance of becoming a race make this 80 right and like so forth right so then i'm gonna set the if statement so you want to set this up in in um uh, ascending order which means an increasing order as the number like as you go down the number increases so of course first things first we look at the table the lowest number is five so that's where we're gonna start we're gonna say if a random number is less than equal to five right enter relevant fire client player comma roll comma and then you're gonna put the race they rolled so for this it would be angel then you're gonna set up an else if statement and do the same thing so we could copy and paste this to save time so just do control c control v then do else if right and then of course you're gonna change this to the next one the second the second um the second lowest number 10 
right? Then copy and paste this. Let me move this over. Control C and Control V. Then of course, then of course the third lowest number, fifteen, right? And then of course make sure you change, you update the name. So Fishman Demon, and then the biggest number at the end. So else if random number less than equal. Oh, sorry, we don't, we don't need to do that for the last one. You can just do greater than sixteen. You could also do less than equal to seventy, but it would just you could just do that. It would make more sense. So if random number is greater than sixteen. Uh, then you guys can, you know, just do this, control C, control V, and then they are a human, right? So boom, is that simple. You guys see how it's in ascending order, 5, 10, 15, 16, the numbers get increasingly large, larger as you go down, and yeah. So that's the make a roll system. Let's go ahead and test this, make sure it works. As always, as always, if you guys want access to any of my scripts or models, you guys can become either a channel member or a Discord subscriber. Links to either one of those options can be found in the description. So yeah. So if I, so if I click, um, you know, click to roll arrays, boom human um okay yeah there we go i was gonna say like now keep in mind and that's what kind of makes it kind of like you know weird is that like it's working is working perfectly fine you guys saw how i changed the angel um keep in mind since human since it's like a 70 percent chance of becoming human that's really all you're really gonna see if you wanted to just double check just to make sure your system is working like you know just fine then what you could do is you could um you could go here and then you could print the race right and so long as you see it print like 20 different races or what well, does have to be 20 different but like as long as you see it print 20 different 20 things i should say right demon human you guys see how it's going oh we're actually getting some diversity here demon fish yeah you guys see yeah i wonder if okay we really got everything except uh angel but anyway yeah so yeah that's how you make a race whole system and stuff hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did leave a like and subscribe appreciate y'all for watching thank you guys for all the love and support you guys for showing all my videos really do appreciate it i'll see you guys in the next video